Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Guild Wars 2. Today we're going to look at a little bit of character creation. This game is quite a bit of fun, and creating your character is actually a lot of fun too. There are five different races to pick from. You have over... Let's see how to do this. We have the Char. These are the big feline guys. You've seen that in my other video I've made. Um, you have humans, Norns, and they're little—they're basically same thing as humans, but just a couple feet taller. They're pretty big. These weird little things called a Sura. And then we have the plant-like Silvari. They are quite cool. And for today's video, I'm going to show human female. So here we have, on this right here, we have the eight different classes you can select. First is the Elementalist, then Warrior, Guardian, which I have one of these, Engineer, and Engineer is the class that I'm using right now with my Char character, Ranger, and that looks a heck of a lot like Arya from Game of Thrones. Just slightly older. For <coughs> obvious reasons. And here we have the Necromancer. Thief. And last, we have the Mesmer. So, I think today... Uh, I've not started a Necromancer. Let's try that. So, necromancers are masters of dark arts. They summon the dead to fight for them, channel blood energy, and rend their enemies' souls. Necromancers draw life force and use it to strengthen or heal themselves and others. They wear light armor. So, first things first. <coughs> Here is your height that you can select. Make your character a little bit taller, average, and I guess that's as far as you can go for a human. So let's do about that right there. It looks good. Over here you have physique, and there's several different physique options right here. This is the default one that's selected right here. But just give you a kind of a quick overview of these. So you've got a little chunkier and a little bit less chunky and. Thin. And over here on the top left, you have these three options right here. Toggle lighting, hide armor, and zoom in. And just to show you just a little bit of difference in the physique, like right now, this one is selected over here in the middle. And you can see she's, you know, she's kind of toned. And so, select that one, you lose that a little bit. So some of these over on the right, more toned, and then if we go back to the default, which was right here, yeah, it's just kind of natural, medium. So we're just going to stick with that and head down to the rest of the options here. So first is head options. Oh, forgot. Skin color. Um, i just show you a few different options here. The Silvari, which is the plant race that was on the far right of the character creation, they actually have quite a few different uh, skin colors that you can choose from. That's pretty cool. And I'll, put, I'll be doing a video of that to, to showcase that as well. So I think um, yeah, we'll just stick with whatever the default was. I think it was maybe this one. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Head options. Faces and skin color. So, <coughs> this is the default one again. I like that one. Well, that's something. OK. 
I'm gonna go with that one. That one looks cool. Here is hairstyles. First one is this one. Very cool. That one's kind of simple and cool looking. I like that. So, <clears throat> let me do something that is something that I wouldn't normally pick. I think, yeah, I really like that one though. Oh, it's cute. It doesn't say Necro though. Well, let's do that. And here we have hair color. I'll just stick with the normal black for that. And we don't have an accessory in our hair, so that doesn't really make a difference. But, um, yeah, whatever. Face details is the next option. Start with eyes, and these sliders right here, you can change... I guess it's already zoomed in. You can change uh, a few of the options here. Iris size. So, that's kind of cool. You can get pretty detailed if that's what you are interested in. And here we have uh, what color you want your eyes to be. I like that violet. That's cool. Nose. Looks fine to me. Mouth. And last is chin and jaw. I, I think all the default options are just fine. So here we have armor dyes. And did my eyes just go all glowy? They sure did. Alright. So, you, um... This is kind of a default die selection that you get. And last, you do the dies for your footwear. I think we'll just do that. And there you go. Here is your human necromancer, complete with cool looking eyes. So after you do that, you have a few more options to select. Here's your background. A necromancer's closest companion is death. In acknowledgement of this, I mark my face with a symbol of a ghostly wraith, skull, trickster demon. 
Yeah, that looks cool. I like that. Trouble may follow me, but I use, and this is your three options. You have basically good, or charm, dignity, or ferocity. We'll use ferocity. So, <clears throat> now you select, I was raised among the nobility, by the common folk, or in the streets. Street rat. I grew up poor on the streets, living hand to mouth. Every day was a challenge, but like I tell my old buddy Quinn, if it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. I've worked hard to change my luck, but I've still got a long way to go. Sure. Unknown parents. I'll go over those options. One of my biggest regrets is I've never searched for my true parents, I've never recovered my sister's body, and I passed up an opportunity to perform in the circus. We'll just stay on the first option. Everyone said I was blessed by, and now you pick, a god. So, standard one for Necro is Grinth. A god of darkness, ice, and death. Grinth, the god of death, blessed me when I was young. Though trouble may follow me, I overcome it with ferocity. My people are dirt poor, and I've struggled all my life. I've made something of myself, and the only thing I regret is that I never searched for my true parents. A necromancer's closest companion is death. In acknowledgement of this, I mark my face with the symbol of a ghostly wraith. This is my story. And then you just type in a good name, so... A good name for a necromancer would be... what? I think... I cannot think of anything right now, so... First thing I th can think of is... Power Girl. Power Girk. Power Girl. Of course, because we all know that Power Girl is a necromancer. <laughs> She's not. Okay. So, anyways, there you guys go. After you do this, you hit <clears throat> you hit next, and then you start your tutorial. And I will be starting a video of that sometime soon. But at first, I want to go over through uh, a few more character creations and show the Silvari and the Asura and stuff like that. So. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. And I will talk to you guys next time. See ya.